Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to be covering really simple UVW unwrapping. This is a really important aspect of any sort of 3D modeling. Um, you know, you can learn to model but what can make your model look so much better and so much more detailed is of course a texture and to do it the right way you need to know how to unwrap um, which is why you know it's really essential that you follow this tutorial and get to grips with the whole process of unwrapping an object I'm going to be starting with just a box uh, but I'll do follow up videos of unwrapping different types of objects so I'll start with simple objects like a box uh, a cylinder and that sort of thing and then I'd kind of go forward and I'll start unwrapping objects so for this particular tutorial uh, I'm going to be creating a PC tower um, so again it's just pretty much a rectangular box and then I'm going to be unwrapping all the sides um, and applying a texture in Photoshop and then bringing it back in here and um, showing my final piece you know applying the material and rendering it out really simply um, so the first step is to draw out your box and you want it to resemble you know roughly a tower like shape um, I'm not going to worry too much about being precise with the resolution you know with the size of, of, of your box with the dimensions but you can kind of round them off if you please um, if that you know I don't want it to be too wide so possibly I'll change it from 30 to about 25 I think that's better and just keep that at 45 that's fine the next thing I'm going to do is just configure my viewports because again this is something that you should always do before uh, you set out to model anything or uh, do anything actually in 3D so if you go to configure take off selection brackets and turn on edge faces and apply to all viewports so we have a basic shape there of the tower and that's actually all I want to do right now I'm not going to go forward and do anything else in particular with that with that object I'm going to go to my modify tab and then what you want to do is click on the modify list and go straight into unwrap UVW now this is the tool that allows you to sort of lay this object out in a flat manner you know and then export the image into Photoshop so that you can then paint on it or you know overlay some images and then bring it back in here and you know it will look like a PC tower so the first thing that, that you need to do is hit the little plus the little black plus on the left of unwrap UVW and then click on to face and you can, you can see how that basically means that we can select the faces or the polygons so if I just select the front polygon just like that I'm going to go down to planar and I'm just going to again go through the aligns just to make sure that I have the right one now this is where it's really important to know which way you're aligning them because you know if, if we can see there that's kind of cut, cutting through it so that's that's wrong you want this this box just here um, if I just scale that out you'll you'll see it a little better but you can kind of see this box here you want that to resemble the same dimensions and the angle of the face you've selected so you want that to kind of be rotated 90 degrees so it's facing that way you know so it's the same angle like like that obviously it's not the best way to do it to rotate so you just want to go through the align X you know Y is the right one um, but let me explain to you again just how X and Z are wrong because you can see how they're cutting through so that's what you always want to look out for if it's kind of cutting straight through the middle then that's kind of an indicator that it's wrong so again with that one it's cutting through uh, vertically and with this one it's horizontally but if you go on to a line Y you know the line disappears because it's you know it's formed the same shape 
as that box so that's what you're looking for you want to look for that box to resemble the same angle that you're selecting so once you've got that selected you know and it's the right alignment you just deselect planar you scroll up to edit and you know while this box is still highlighted I'm just going to pull it aside of course the next thing and I, I always do say this you know click on this drop down and click checker pattern and that allows you to see the, the checker on your object and essentially all you want to do is make sure that these checkers you know these these squares look square so they're not squished together like rectangles and as, as we can see on mine that is squished together like a rectangle so we're just gonna pull that in like that and you can see how that spread that apart so you want to kind of make this unwrap resemble you you know that particular face that area that you selected which is a lot better now they're both rectangular whereas before it was square like that which caused some distortion so I'm just going to quickly kind of go through the rest of them I'm going to go on to the left side again just go to planar let me just close this for a second just to make it a bit easier for you to see so you go to planar and again we're just going to go align Align Y is wrong because it's cutting through it again. Align Z is wrong because it's cutting through it that way. But Align X is the right one. And if I just pull that out, can you see how that's the same angle? Yeah, it's pretty much the outline of that face. And that's exactly what you want. So while you've got Align X selected, you know, you've done that and it's all perfect and it's fine. You again deselect planar. You go up. And then you just pull that box to the side. And then again, you just click on the checker pattern. And again, you know, that's a little bit squished together. So you could kind of just make it look a little bit more square. That's, that's a lot better. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to do the other side now really quickly. For this one it will be the same align because it's you know they're both on the same angle so align X is, is the right one. I'm going to deselect planar, scroll up, edit, pull that out the way. And again just click checker pattern and again you're just going to have a quick look to make sure it does look like a checker. It does look square and not distorted so that's fine. I'm going to then move on to the top one. You, know, you can actually leave the edit window open, which is fine. Uh, and if you click checker pattern, you know, it will keep that checker on, on the actual object like that. But you do have to ensure that you go through the unwrapping process the exact same way. So planar. That's, so that's wrong because it's cutting through. Align X is wrong because it's cut, cutting through. But if you click align Z, you know you can see how that's a lot better and if I pull that up that is perfect it's the same angle again so you do select planar at that stage go to edit and again just pull that aside and that's quite distorted so you can just kind of pull that in so again it looks quite square and the back as well because obviously the back of you know the, the, the computer is going to have details such as you know the all the ports and, and, and the connections so that will that's exactly why you need to have the back uh, unwrapped as well so you go to planar again align X is wrong align Z is wrong too because it's cutting through again and just just like the front one align Y is the correct one so you can see there's the same angle you then need to deselect planar and go up to edit of course you already have your window open uh, so you just kind of pull that aside again and you want to make sure that that you know 
checker looks looks right so it's not distorted I know I keep going over the same sort of thing but you know it's really important that you that you understand what you're clicking and you know why you are click clicking that particular option so it is really important okay so what you're left with is the bottom so you don't really need to unwrap that because that's like the last side left so that's going to be by itself anyway so the bottom really doesn't need a lot of detail uh, for this particular object you know you, you know if you're gonna have a game where the computer was I don't know it had physics and you could not knock it over then you'd want to texture the bottom of the computer uh, but for my case you know I'm not really going to be needing to do that so I'm just gonna first of all you know select everything that I've just unwrapped and then it's your I you know it's your job then to kind of fit it all within this box just here so you can kind of scale it down so using this freeform mode tool um, if you scale down and then hold control which will mean that you know it maintains its its size uh, its width and its height so you're not kind of doing a free transform and it, it may actually just kind of squish together or distort really badly as you can see just there so you need to be careful that you're holding control as you're scaling down if you're finding it hard to see at this stage then you can get rid of the map in the background of this edit window if you go to view you can get rid of the you know the map option so just click on show map and it will deselect it so that makes it a lot easier for you, for you to see that now this is where you need to think you know think what part of the model requires most detail so if if i call this the front one i'd say the front needs a lot of detail because you know you've got a lot of stuff going on there like the power button and may maybe some vents and things like that the back will also need a lot of detail because you know you've got all the ports and things like that so I need to make that bigger this is the top this is the bottom and these are the two sides so I'm just gonna scale that up like that one side I'm gonna make bigger because and it's going to be the left side because that's where I want to um, keep um, you know the window on the side of my machine you know showing the internal of the computer so I can just kind of make that one a lot larger the other side I'm just going to paint a plain kind of black color just to show that it's just a metal kind of panel there I guess for the top it's just going to be plain black as well so I don't need to worry too much about those two you know you may want to give the top a little bit more space if you were gonna add like a, a vent to the top top of the machine or something of that kind of style I guess um, so you know these these three are the most important to me the back the side and the front because they're gonna require the most detail so that's why I've given them the most space on my texture sheet so the next step then is to go to mapping, uh, go to tools sorry, so tools, render UV template you go to, you know, you can set the resolution of your unwrap, I'm going to leave it at, you know, 1024 by 1024, you could do it 512 by 512 so let, let's try 512, you know, make it quite small because it is a smallish kind of object click on to render UV template and then you have it just there, you hit save save it as whatever you want and save it as a JPEG and then you know you need to take it into Photoshop which I'll show you how to do in the next tutorial so if you guys just uh, go over and view that tutorial uh, I'll run through how to texture this and then bring it back into 3ds Max and apply it to my uh, box and make it look like a computer tower